Hello world, this is Alex Nieva here at Infusion Systems working with the IQBX line of products. Today I'm going to show you how to connect the YDIG wirelessly to uh, the computer to send motion data to control an object in Touch Designer. Touch Designer is a cool program to create visualizations using video, audio and pictures. So the first thing we need to do is to connect the sensor to the YDIG input. In this case, we're going to use the Orient 4D sensor. Then we're going to connect the battery and wait for it to appear as a Bluetooth device. So if we go to our computer and look for MIDI devices, we are going to find the YDIG and we're going to be able to connect. There you go. Let's connect. And what we're going to do is we're going to send MIDI data into Touch Designer. So for that, we need to configure the YDIG using Editor X. We connect as a Bluetooth device. We click Update. I'm going to reset and clear so that you see everything I do from scratch. I'm going to turn on the sensor, which is on channel 1. I'm going to edit it. It's a digital sensor. So I choose digital, Orient 4D, and the method is going to be zero because the sensor is going to be sending quaternion data. This quaternion data is going to be changed into pitch band information because that is the uh, MIDI data information that has the most resolution. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to map all these uh, values into Touch Designer. So, the, this digital sensor is, has four channels. So, in channel one, we're going to send uh, pitch band information on channel one, on MIDI channel one. We do the same for channel two. For channel three, and then for channel four. So if we click view here, you see that we are sending the quaternion data mapped into MIDI pitch band data. Here you go, pitch band channel 3, pitch band channel 4, 2, and 1. Perfect. So now let's go to um, Touch Designer and see how we can configure this. Um, the first need to that we need to do is to go to the MIDI device mapper. Here we're going to uh, create a new mapping. So we're going to choose the YDIG here and then here in devices I have already created a YDIG map. So if you see it, data, MIDI data is already coming in and you need to format the data as it comes in, for example, pitch band E0, E1, E2, and E3, they come as a two byte message. So this is set up like this so that we can read the MIDI map there. Why? So what we, what we need to do next is to go to, uh, sorry, to create to the chop and choose the chop MIDI in map so that we get our map into Touch Designer. As you can see, we already have data coming in. Then we're going to use the angle chop to change quaternions into uh, degrees for our rotation vector, but they have to be ordered in a different way. First X, Y, and Z, and then W. So what I'm going to do is scale and then first order, reorder them and then scale that data. So I'm going to use the select chop and here I am going to change this, change the order to S2, S3, S4, and S1. So there you go, the data is reordered and then I'm going to use the math chop to scale it. You go to Mult Add, I'm going to 
subtract 0.5 and then I'm going to multiply by 2. That is going to give me the values in quaternions. Then I choose the angle chop and then it's going to give quaternions it's going to receive quaternions as, as inputs and then it's going to output degrees. So if you see the sensor is moving and the rotation is being, vector is being created. So after that we need to create a null chop here so that we can render this data into our geometry. So we go to our geometry and we just drag this chop into the instance and as you can see, we're already sending data there. But now we have to map the rotation matrix to the axis of the geometry. And look at this. I'm going to zoom in. My sensor is aligned with the north of my city. And then if you rotate it, the object follows, if you change the pitch, it also follows, and if you change the heading, it also follows. So that is how you can map wireless MIDI data from the YVIG into Touch Designer so that you can control the motion of an object rendered in Touch Designer. That is it for now, so please stay tuned for more videos in the following weeks. Thank you.